Good morning, good morning, hello, hello, hello. Good morning, it's Tuesday, it's time for Coffee and Cards. My name is Kate Bolt, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK, coming to you every Tuesday for some crafty inspiration. Uh, yeah, happy day to everyone. The sun is shining, it doesn't look like it, but we've had some beautiful sunlight streaming through the window this morning. And I'm very happy because it's the first time I've seen sun in weeks <laughs> and it's so lovely good morning everyone if you are with me please leave me a comment uh, a thumbs up or something like that so i know you're there i'm just going to check on my laptop next to me that i'm live and in the right place and i'm very happy to be with you this morning very happy indeed let's have a look are you with me? I can't see any comments for some reason. I could just see a few hearts. Good morning, Anthony. But for some reason, I'm not seeing... Oh, there you go. I could see you. Thank you, Anthony. Thanks, Jam. It is my fifth Stamping Up anniversary today. I am very excited. It's my fifth anniversary with Stamping Up. I don't know where the time has gone. Good morning, Hilary. I'm late. You're not late. <laughs> Don't worry, I've only just come on. I was live in a virtual coffee break with my upline. We're having a big Pinky's virtual coffee morning. So good morning, Jen. Good morning, Claire. Good morning. I'm five today. <laughs> it's my fifth birthday with Stamping Up. Thank you so much. It's a big deal in Stampin' Up. We celebrate five years, 10 years and so on. And this is my first big anniversary. And I'm really happy. And I'd kind of forgotten at the beginning of the month, I knew it was coming up. Um, and then I had some lovely happy mail from my lovely upline, which came the other day. And it said, don't open until the 23rd. And I'm like, what? Why? What is this? What has she sent me? Why the 23rd? And then it suddenly dawned on me. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you, Joanne. Oh, I hope ja uh, Fran joins us. I haven't seen it in forever. So it just feels like such a lovely day to me. The sun is shining. I've got you guys at Coffee and Cards. I love Tuesdays. Um, it's my stamping up anniversary. And we had some pretty brilliant news last night in our roadmap out of lockdown. I don't know about you guys. Um, Things are pretty horrible right now for everyone, aren't they? And everyone is still struggling. People are poorly, people have lost folks, things aren't great, but to have that light at the end of the tunnel, and even though it's gonna take us quite a few weeks to get out of this, we have a we have a roadmap, we have like light at the end of the tunnel, and everything just feels a little bit more positive to me today. Um, it just feels so much more positive. We can start planning. Good morning, Anne. We really can, because even if things don't go quite to plan, it'll only be delayed a bit. You know, we know that the end is in sight. We have vaccinated like, I don't know, 17 million or something more. I don't know, but we are doing great. And I'm, yeah, I'm so pleased. And some more great news I had. Um, I already knew this, but it was announced today on the Stampin' Up! Demonstrator website that I've been selected to be on the United Kingdom Demonstrator uh, Council for Stampin' Up! Um, so this position is a yearly position and I applied for it a while ago and I got selected. There's five of us in the UK and I'm really excited because we get to collaborate with other demonstrators and the management team and brainstorm ideas and look at different things for Stampin' Up! So. I'm super excited and that got announced today too. It feels like things are getting better. So I hope they are for everybody. Yes, yeah, so I thought we'd make some fun cards today. And I don't know if you saw on my blog, I made a card for a blog hop I'm in. I know, thanks Anthony. I'm in a blog hop every month called the Stamper Showcase. And it's a collaboration with Stampin' Up! demonstrators across the globe. So there's a couple from the UK, we've got Canada, we've got the United States, we've got all over. Um, and we do this blog hop once a month. And it was a thank you card this time. Thank you, everyone. Um, and this is the card I made for it. So this has been on my blog since yesterday. And it's like an ombre effect spotty card. And it was a thanks, grateful kind of gratitude theme. So I used, I can't remember which stamps I used. I think it was the lovely, 
Oh no, it was the ornate thanks, and I haven't brought that in with me. Um, and they've got it's got some lovely font in it. And this one says, just wanted to say you're amazing. So we're going to recreate a card like this, but we're going to do two different colours and show you how I got that ombre effect and how simple it is to make. Thanks, Jan. I am so excited today. It just feels, I, I don't know about you, but I cried when I watched Boris Johnson yesterday and I didn't think that was going to happen at all. I just thought I was going to sit there and moan about how soon the schools were opening. And I was just so happy to hear that actually in the summer, we might actually be able to have a friend over in the garden um, and do some things, you know, so happy days. Morning, Zaina. Morning, everybody. I'm so glad you're with me. Let me put you in the tripod. Now, just so um, I let you know what's happening today. On a Tuesday at the moment, my son is um, working from home. He's homeschooling still. They don't go back to school for another couple of weeks. Um, so he's in, we, um, thank you, Belinda. We share uh, my craft room at the moment. Since we've had the pandemic, we moved a, a desktop computer into there. He has half of the room for homeschooling. We're very lucky that we have a bit of space in the computer so he can do that. So when I do my live, I decamp into the kitchen. But it's nice because we've got the sunshine. You know what? It does look windy, but it's actually not that bad. Oh, that's very kind of you to say so. Thank you, Belinda. I'm excited about being on the demo council, definitely. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. So watch it, hold on to your hats. I hope I bring a bit of sunshine to you all this morning and it's infectious. Here we go. There we are. My crafty pooch is about somewhere, Alfie. He doesn't seem so drawn to me when I'm in the space here. He might be asleep in the living room. Or he might be about, let me look, no, he's not under my feet. So he can't be, but he'll probably make his way in here when he realizes we're live, because he likes to be involved, that crafty dog of ours. So I do apologize for shadow and things when I'm in here. It's a little bit more difficult to uh, control the conditions. I do hope Fran joins us, that would be lovely. Now I've got my coffee guys, that's where I was. I was running off to get a quick cup of coffee because you can't have coffee in cars without a drink, so I hope you've got yours. And I'm gonna pop it to the side so I don't spill it everywhere, right. So, I've got my very tatty, look at the state of my catalogue. Uh, let's have a look, see what I can find in here that we'll be using today. I'm going to use the basic pattern decorative masks and I'm not sure where they are in the catalogue. We must find them with all these colouring tools. They're in here somewhere. Um, no worry if I can't find them. It's a big catalogue and has all the things. I will, when I finish the post, put the item number or the page number in the post so you can go to it because I can't see it. Yeah, I'll put the item number at the end so I don't sit there for ages flicking through that one. New catalogue soon, I know. We had an announcement about that too. Oh, honestly, it's so exciting. I love the annual catalogue. We get new in colours, um, new goodies. So exciting. Okay, so the basic pattern decorative masks is a pack of four of these in different patterns. This is just a plain basic one with spots. I don't have the other ones. I just got this one as part of a kit I had and never got the other ones and I have no idea why because it's absolutely fabulous and I'm using this one tons so guess what's going on my next order because there's three other really lovely patterns they're plastic they're washable you can just wash them with soap and water you can use embossing paste you can use ink you can emboss through them and they're like five pounds for four so I'll be getting the rest of those I thought I'd play with it which is what I did for this card and I'm going to recreate this one for you so I picked a pack, a uh, piece, sorry, if I can speak today. I picked a piece of cardstock in pink. So I went for Blushing Bride. And then I um, got a piece of uh, basic white for the inside, just slightly smaller. 
Oh, that's very good, Anthony. Orders are getting faster, aren't they? And then to make my white panel pop with a pink on it. Oh, 146. Thank you, Belinda. You're an absolute star. Shall I see? Oh, I wasn't that far away, was I? I just needed to turn over. Oh, yeah, here they are. So we have got the basic pattern decorative masks. They are five pounds fifty, and you get these four. So you can't actually see them. So I'll get the spots. You've got this beautiful filigree pattern. You've got this one. I like that one. And then you've got trees as well. So that's really cool. Okay. So to make my white pop, I've got a piece of basic black, which is just slightly smaller, and that's going to go on the front. And this piece, which is just slightly smaller, is going to be the bit that we ink on. Right, so have I got a bit of scrappy tea? I'll use this piece that's got a bit dirty. Right, I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to grab some washi tape. I keep my washi tape on a hook on my trolley where my stamp and cuddle emboss machine is. Good morning, Carol. It's a great price point. It's absolutely brilliant for those masks. Can't go wrong, they'll last forever, won't they? So I keep mine on a little cabana hook. I've got a few of these and they just hang off my trolley. It's always to hand. And I'm gonna tape it over my piece of basic white card. Now, when I put it on, I want it to look really natural. So I want my spots to kind of hang over the edges so there's no big gaps, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to tape it down to stop it moving about. Oh, I forgot to get my cloth. I was going to get a microfiber cloth. I might have to do that when I go onto my next card to clean my brushes off. Right, there we are. So I've stuck that down and hooked that back on there and move this up slightly. There we go, so you can see what's going on. All righty then. So I've got my brushes. So these are the blending brushes that Stampin' Up! are selling. Love these, you get three in a pack. Aren't they lovely? And they're so soft. My son just sits there and plays with them. Super soft. When he's, in, when he's doing his work on the, on the computer and he's in the same, in my craft room, he just sits and plays with them. Okay, so I chose pink and I got three different um, shades. So I've got a very light pink. Oh, I meant to pick up Blushing Bride, but I've got Petal Pink. That's absolutely fine. Petal Pink, I've got Rococo Rose, and I've got Melon Mambo. So we're going to go with those, and I'm going to start off with the lightest colour first. And I'm going to pick it up on my brush. I'm just going to use the ink pad as it is. Look at that. And you can see it on there. And I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. And I'm literally just going to rub it in. And it won't be very dark, it's quite a light colour. Less is more, because you can always add more. You just can't take away if you put too much on. So just make sure you go right down to the edge. Like that. So I'm going to go about a third of the way up, because I'm going to put those three different shades of pink on. Like that. And I can just rub my brush on the grid paper there. All right, I'm going to go for Rococo Rose to be our next colour. Oh, do you like my top? It's really old, but thank you, Carol. Super old one, but I went to <laughs> this little. I don't know if you'll identify or not, but I got up this morning, went in the wardrobe to get a clean t shirt out. You know what? T shirts. Comfy trousers. Oh, I put too much ink on there because I'm chatting. Uh, whatever. And I thought, no, it's a special day. I'm going to put a top or a blouse on. That's as far as dressing up goes for me at the moment. But see, I haven't left the house for ages. But, you know, it just makes you feel so much better, doesn't it? I'm going to get some of that ink off there because I put a little bit too much on. And then I'm going to add it to my card. Blending the it into the colour down here slightly. 
paint. This is a bit pinker than the one I did before. Oh, it's nice though, I like that. And then we're gonna go for the really dark pink at the top. You're still in your PJs, brilliant, good for you. Make the most of it, life's far too short. Right, I'm gonna go for the, let's get some of that ink off there. I'm gonna go for the very dark pink now. This is Melon Mambo, and it's not quite as we, uh, cold a pink as Magenta Madness. I did try that. I kind of preferred the warmer Melon Mambo for this, but you can see how bright that is. Can you see that in there? Look how bright that is. So we're gonna go for that hot pink at the top. Hot pink. That is well pink, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to go for our ta-da moment now. Are you ready? They're clean on, absolutely. Good for you. <laughs> Glad to know. Right, here we go. i take the mask off. Ta-da! I love a ta-da moment. What do you think of that? How simple that was to make a background using the... Uh, the mask, so I'm gonna pop that to the side. And then you can wipe that over with a baby wipe or just with a clean, uh, damp cloth and you're good to go. So let's grab our layers. Put that one over there and stick these together. Glue, did I bring you with me? I hope I did. Yes, right here. Thank you, I love it too. Isn't it so effective? I'm going to try it with the blues in a minute and see what we can get with that. I haven't done that yet, so it's going to be an experiment for all of us. Such a simple thing to do. And, you know, depending on what you do and what pattern you could do, you can make any card with it, really, can't you? Right, so there's the black piece, and I think the black just makes that pink pop. You see that? So if you like it, or uh, you'd like some more crafty inspiration, if you look on my blog, this card is on the blog post there, inkstampshare.ink, and sort of a third, two thirds of the way down the page, you'll see the next button, and you can just click next, and you'll get on to the next blog post, for the Stampers Showcase blog hop with the other ladies that I hop with and you'll be able to see what they've made and when you go halfway down their post you'll see their next button and then you hop around them all and it's great fun and there's no problem with it it's just a blog hop and uh, yeah I hop with all these lovely ladies every month good morning Chris uh, I can't see what that's it's a new color combo well that's your um your website link that you popped in our group and he's amazing that stamping up color combination yay fran welcome i have missed you how are you how lovely i used to work with fran on the premature baby unit at the hospital so lovely to have you here right okay so i've got my background i've got it kind of layered up and now i'm going to look for a stamp to pop on the front there now i didn't bring the the uh, stamp set in that I had used um, on the previous card. So let's see what else I have got because I'm not in my craft room, I am somewhere else. I'm in my kitchen. So I think we're gonna go for birthday wishes. May your day be filled with heartfelt happiness. That's really nice. Or we could just go for sending a little smile your way. I think we'll go for birthday wishes, seeing as it's my birthday. It's not my real birthday, but it's my Stampin' Up! birthday, so I'm celebrating. <laughs> I am. I'm very excited. Five years. You get a nice, beautiful pin in a presentation box from Stampin' Up! on your fifth anniversary, so I'm waiting for mine to arrive next month. Happy days. Birthday wishes. So I would really like it to pop out and stand out. So I'm going to go with that really bright. It's my crafty kitchen. It is. 
Yay, Fran, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, Carol. Five years. I honestly do not know where the time has gone and I have had a ball. It has been the best gift in the world, honestly. So here we go, birthday wishes. I have been to Florida, I've been to Amsterdam, I've been all over the place with the most amazing bunch of people just because of Stampin' Up. I've had the best, so many fun memories, so many weekends away, so much laughter, and I've made some amazing friends, proper friends. Right, so I'm gonna grab the rectangle stitch frames. I think I've got out already, but now the one I've got out doesn't fit what I'm going to use because I changed my mind on the stamp set. Where have I put the dies? Here they are, I've got them out already, look. So the one I got out was a bit skinny. So these are rectangle dies. And there's the one I already got out, but that won't fit that one very well. So let's pop that back in. Do you see all the ones you get here? I'm going to pop that one there because I think that one fits beautifully. I'm going to cut that out on the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Stamping out the cut and emboss machine. I think I'll cut this in half. It's a bit big to go through there. Oh, yeah. I need to celebrate for the rest of the day. In fact, I'm probably going to celebrate all week. Let's pop that on there like so, and I'm going to get that washi tape going on. Well, that's good news about your order, Anthony. Mine, uh, I put an order through the other day, a couple of days ago, so I haven't actually checked because I just imagined it would take quite a long time at the moment with COVID and everything. But um, I must check, see where it is. Jen, so do I. They're really a great set of dies, aren't they? You always get something to fit what you're sampling, whether it's a sediment or an image. You always want to enough. There we are. Perfect. Oh, did I? Yeah, I did put it through. And also, I don't know if you've noticed, it gives you a double stitched edge. So it's stitched. Let me take that out of there so you can see what I mean. Oh, it's got stuck right in. Goodness me. Let's take that out. So as you can see, it gives you this beautiful stitched edge. Like that. But also, if you wanted to use the aperture, it's got a stitched edge left behind. So that's really handy as well. So I've got birthday wishes. That's going to go on here. And I brought in with me the little bloom punch. Oh, there's plenty of celebration, uh, Anthony, to say for June the 21st. There is plenty. <laughs> if all goes to plan and we come out of complete restrictions by June the 21st, there are going to be so many celebrations. I can't wait. I've already been in touch with my venue that I use for my classes normally. And I'm going to continue with my live um, events and my classes in the post, but I'm also going to be going back to doing in-person events and I've already been in touch to uh, get those organised. Happy days. For the first one in June. If I can. How exciting to be able to plan an event. Now, I have been using my little sponge to go around the edge of my flowers when I've been punching them out with the pink ink just to give them a little bit of definition. I've left my sponge in my craft room. I'm kind of pinned in behind the desk here, so I'm just gonna use the brush and get inky hands. Yeah, I love this punch. I hardly used it for months and months, and then I used it one day because I needed to, and I haven't put it down since. Do you find you do that with things? You fall, fall back in love with things that you've used. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a definition there. Grab in my rhinestone gems. I'm going to pop some of these on here just to finish it off. I think that'll be nice. So we need some sticky foam pads. I'll get some big ones for the sentiment. Hilary, I have been planning it and I haven't actually uh, sent her any details. So it's going to be in March. 
and I will be sending the details out very shortly. And I'm very excited because so I'll do one for March, I'll do one for April, May, and then... Yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit like that, Anthony. And then for the June one, if we do get to go ahead, I'm going to be doing it as a combined in the post and in person, so you get to choose. How good is that? <laughs> oh, I'm super excited. It's time to start planning, guys, because we can come out at some point. So I'm going to pop them in and I'm going to put one behind and then I'm going to put a couple on top. In fact, how many did I use on my last? I think I put five on there. So maybe I need a couple more of these. Yeah, I think I need a couple more. One, two. Oop. Flew away. I'm not sure if it's making a lot of difference with this. I think I need my sponge to ink the edges, but it'll do. It must be because I'm getting inky fingers. What's all that for? <laughs> so who's uh, seen the butterflies, the new butterfly set that's coming out? We have a beautiful butterfly set that's coming out. Um, it's available for demonstrators at the moment and then it'll be available to customers soon too. If you've seen that, you'll know how beautiful it is. So that is, that is something that is coming and is beautiful. Right, let's have a look. What size will I use of these little gemstones? I think I'll use some of the big ones up for the middle of the flowers. Because they look cute there, don't they? <laughs> Anthony makes my little mind happy too. <laughs> Great minds think alike, they say. I used to say that all the time. Claire Smith, what did you say? Nope, about sorry, I missed that. Hope you're okay. Hope you're well. Yeah. So, yeah, so class is coming. I was very hesitant in January and February with classes because of a lot of issues with the Brexit issues with customs deliveries and all of that, and that's all seems to be resolved. So this sounds good now. We are good to go. Right, there we go. Let's move that out of the way and pop them on. Now I've got the little dimensionals. You can just use the big ones and cut them up, but I am very pleased that these fit perfectly on the back of my, most of the little things that we need to die cut or punch. So I'll put one there. I'll put a bit of glue on one of them. behind there. I could have done sticking that one down a bit further, I think. There. Yay, you've got a haircut appointment. You've got a haircut appointment. Well, I've booked one with my favourite hairdresser, Maria. Well, I say I've booked one. I've messaged her to reserve one. Oh, what was that? Did you say, Anthony? What did you say? Uh... Might be back sooner than anticipated. That would be amazing. I don't know how it's going to work. We have some live events um, booked for... that have been booked since way before COVID struck. It's a big anniversary event for a band that my husband liked when he was in college with his mates. Um, and it's an anniversary gig and there's three dates and they're in Wales. They're in Cardiff and in the valleys through May and June and we obviously didn't think they'd go ahead at all but you never know if you're saying oh my god that would be amazing if we could do live testing wouldn't it so a couple more of these flowers if I do it the same as I did before actually I don't need those I want to put a bit of glue on that one it's all good news isn't it you know, the best news is I can actually go and see my mum soon. You know, when we're allowed to travel and we're allowed to be free and do all that, I'll be able to go and see my mum in Wales. I'm so excited just to be able to see her and hug her. Okay, we're going to put the middle inside. That'll be the best thing, just being able to hug my mum. I 
I like birthday wishes. Right, I didn't bring happy birthday stamp in with me. I don't think. I'll check the sets I brought in. I've got a smile. No. Oh. Uh, no, I didn't bring a, one that I want in there anyway. So I think I will um, stamp that in when I've finished and pop it up as a picture afterwards. There we go. Oops, sorry, I think I've lost all the comments. Is your husband... Just can't wait to have copy in the same room as you. Oh, Auntie, that would be lovely. Yeah, we're both from Wales, Jen. We're Welshies. Okay. So, we haven't, you know, we haven't lived there forever, but yeah, we, are, we were originally from Wales. So there they are. These are two different cards, exactly the same, but different, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, and don't these look very similar? I thought mine, this one was a lot darker, but it's actually very much the same. I need a couple more gemstones on it, I think, just to make it pop. I think that would be nice. And then we're going to try one with some different greens. I'm actually in my kitchen conservatory. And I don't want to tempt um, anything, but... I'm absolutely <laughs> boiling <laughs> and the sun is streaming in and it's the first sun we've had in weeks and oh your favorite accent ever oh bless you <laughs> yeah so um yeah when this is done I might actually get a walk in the sunshine wouldn't that be lovely so those are happy birthday to me for stamping up and yeah two pink ones and then we're going to try one with the blue colors well I'll put that to the side I'm going to have a bit of coffee, a drop of coffee. Oh, excuse me for being slurpy, it's not very nice. Good morning, Marla. So here we are. I decided to go for a different fold on this one. To be honest, it looks exactly the same. But this one opens this way and this one opens this way. So you, But they're both made with an A4 piece of cardstock. All I've done with this one is I've cut my card at 14.9 and scored it at 10.5. And this one is A4 and I've done it the other way around. So I've cut it at 10.5 and scored it at 14.9. Where in Wales, well, oh, I don't know if I can actually call myself Welsh to be fair. I'm just, uh, when I was uh, born and brought up, I was brought up in Gwent, um, just over the bridge in a little village called Rogget. Um, my husband was born and brought up in a little village uh, a mile and a half away called Caldicott. And it's just a couple of miles in from Chepstow, just over the Severn Bridge. So it's not even really into proper Wales, but, you know, it was it's Wales and it's Gwent. But as I, I think the border changed to Monmouthshire when I was um, an adult, but either way. Yeah, where well she's. But just over the bridge. So I've got my thick basic white uh, base. And then I've gone for Bermuda Bay. I love this colour so much. And I realised the other day, I have been constantly using Coastal Cabana. I love it. It kind of tones with Bermuda Bay, doesn't it? But I thought I'd better get some different colour out. I love that. And then I've got a piece of basic white for my coloured layer, which is the one we're going to do our masking on. So let's grab that. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. I'll grab my bit of scrappity paper, like so. Now, I have got my mask, but I am going to give it a clean because it's still covered in pink. Now, what I think I'll do is use my chamois. Look at the state of that. It did go through the washing machine, I promise. But just run it under the tap, it's fine. You can see the pink coming off it and it's actually going through the middle. So whilst it doesn't look like there's any ink on it, I assure you it's very inky. So there we go, that will do that. Let's take this off. I'll put some fresh on there. Don't they? They tow really well together. So I got both of those colors out. Look, you can see where the pink has come through. It's a bit wet. It's 
part of a set, Lucy. You get four. And they're on page, somebody kindly popped it in. Belinda kindly popped it in. I think it was page, was it page 146? Um, and the, in the annual catalogue, you get a pack of four, all different patterns. They're plastic, so you can wash them. You can use embossing paste through them. You can use ink. I did embossing powder and did gold embossing spots the other day for my blog post. Um, that video's up. Yeah, so they're in a pack of four and they're only five pounds. A brilliant value. So, I'm going to pop it on again. Do the same. So I've got my half dots on the side so it doesn't look like I've got a big gap at the top or bottom. Grab out my washi tape. Yeah, me like you too. A lot. <laughs> and if you've got washi tape that you don't know what to do with, use it for this kind of job. It's always good, as well as uh, making your envelopes look pretty. You can tape the back of those as well. Right. I might have to open my window. What's going on? Alrighty, so let's see what colour blues we've got. We've got Bermuda Bay, which is the same colour as the base. I've got Coastal Cabana, which is the colour I was showing you just now. Yeah, they're a great size. Yeah, and Balmy Blue, one of my favourite blues. So I'm going to start with the lightest blue. I'm not sure if these will go that well, but we'll try it. I think they will. I'm going to grab one of these. Now, I could easily have used this one. Just clean it off. You can wash it in hot soapy water or just clean water. But I have had a tip that if you rub it really well on a microfiber cloth between uses, you can just go on to another colour. Just make sure it's not transferring onto your project. Um, and you don't have to keep buying lots of different ones for different colours. So that's a great tip. Um, I have penned myself in behind my table, so I can't go and grab a cloth. So I'll use one of my other ones. And I'm going to go for the lighter colour and just pick up that ink like that and just take some off so I can see how dense, uh, deep it is because I don't want it too, too dark. And just start at the bottom and I just go around with circular motions and apply the colour through the mask like so. That's fab, isn't it? I love that. I love these brushes. These are my probably favourite tool at the minute. And they're so flexible. Really good. These are good value as well, by the way. Okay, so that's the lightest. Then we're going for my favourite colour, Coastal Cabana. Oh, did you like that? Thanks, Anthony. That was great fun using both those items together. Those papers from Celebration with the Donkeys are fab. And then that's on my blog, so just have a little look. And on YouTube, you can just see those for my Celebration Sunday series. And the, oh, for saying that, that's the last one coming this Sunday for the Spring Celebration. Because we're now, this is our last week. We've just got up until this Sunday and Celebration is over. So don't miss out, guys. Those donkeys are fab. The papers, the other stamp sets absolutely lovely oh this is kind of nice and bold right but i think i'm going to go in at the top now with a really bold bermuda bay this is a nice kind of um in between if you like the idea of getting inky and creating with ink um and that kind of messy play but you don't like the mess Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Anthony. You've tried it and you can confirm it works. That's great news. Yeah, that's a great tip with the microfiber cloth for the blending brushes. Yeah, so if you don't particularly like getting terribly inky and a mess everywhere and you're a cleaner crafter, I think this is a good technique for you because you're not really getting much ink anywhere. You're not getting yourself in too much of a mess. There's a little bit of ink on me, but if I didn't have ink on me, I wouldn't be crafting, to be fair. So I'm going in at the top with a darker blue. And I want it, I need it, I need to know that this is a darker shade than the one below it. So I'm making sure I add a lot in. Now I haven't tried this combination, so should we see if it's worked? It's 
my old style of pad, that one. Right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I do like that. Look. One of my favourite colours. It's kind of so holiday. It screams of summer holidays, this, these colours to me. Love it. Right, let's grab the card uh, layer. So I think that will help that Bermuda Bay pop. Hmm. Maybe a bit of black in between would have been nice for this one as well. I didn't bring any, so we're going with what we've got. But it's nice, isn't it? I hope I get, um, inspire you to try things. And if when I'm doing things I haven't actually done, but I have an idea and I go along with, I think, oh, maybe that would have been nice. So do have a go and let me know. Look, I went absolutely mad. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Lucy. It's great fun, isn't it? I went a bit mad with the glue. There. <laughs> Good. Happy days. Right, let's just pop that on there. <laughs> yeah, me too, Anthony. I can't wait to do those things. I cannot wait. And you know what? We are going to be able to do them. We are, we are. We had a little centre parks book break, a break booked, sorry, for, um, it was just a little something to look forward to. And we had it booked for um, March and we booked it way back when it didn't seem completely ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> so obviously we knew we wouldn't be able to go. And so they gave us a choice. Did we want a refund or did we want to move it out until June? And we have actually, we had actually moved it out to the end of June. So fingers crossed, we might be able to go. That's super exciting. Oh, look at that. I love that. I really like that, those colours. And so we need a sentiment now. Let's have a look. Um, I don't know if I want, I was going to go for this big happy, but I'm not sure. I think that just might be a bit too much on there. So I think I am going to go for this one of my favourite sentiments. Miles apart, but still in my heart. Oh, cherished friend. I think cherished friend might be nice. Let's go for that if I can find out which one it is. Is it this one? Cherished friend. Hurrah. That's the lovely you stamp set. You might see me use that one quite a lot. It is a favorite because it's got so many nice sentiments in it. Really useful ones. Right. So let's grab that piece of cardstock and I'm gonna go back in with the Bermuda Bay. Or should I go Coastal Cabana? No, we're going to go over Muda Bay. Let's go with it. I've decided. Let's stick. We can overanalyze these things. Sometimes it's worth just going for it, you know. Cherished friend. And we need... We need the... Um, I don't know if I should go for a longer one. What do I do with those? so warm in my conservatory, honestly, it's boiling. So many, aren't there? Don't think this one will be, oh, it might be wide enough. Right then, that's better, better proportion on it. Let's go for that one. Look at me, I've got pink and green ink on my thumb. Can't take me anywhere. Right, let's pop this through. <laughs> Can you hear that going through my stamping up cutting and boss machine? There we go. Cherished friend, that's pretty. Now, 
as you saw, I did bring in a bit of the Coastal Cabana card. So that's different to the Bermuda Bay slightly. And what have I done with that little punch? Where are you? I'm going to punch some of those flowers out. Right, five flowers. Let's see if I can ink these up a little bit. I love the font in this set as well. So nice. Oh yeah, this is showing up a little bit better on the flower, probably because it's a bit lighter cardstock than the ink that's on the brush. Yes, I'm using the stitch rectangle dies, Lucy. There's always one to, to fit, isn't there? So it was lovely before I came on. My upline did a lovely group in a coffee break in the pinkies. We all sat and had a little chin wag. It's been so nice to see people's faces. Because I don't get to see anyone else's face, really. So it was so lovely. The other time I get to see people's faces is when I have um, a team meeting. I love that. We have have one of those every month and we have a bit of fun. It was it's so nice to actually see people because you can see a bit of me, but I don't see anyone. So it's so lovely. It's great. OK, so we're going to put this on with some dimensionals. <laughs> They're flying everywhere, those flowers. I think three is enough, isn't it? I can get a bit carried away. I saw you on there, Carol, just as I was leaving. It was lovely to see you, though. I had to come off to do this. It's lovely to see all you guys. Okay. Here we are. So we're going to put these flowers on. Is that straight? Yes, that's straight. I'm going to work out where these are go. will go. Let's grab my take your pick tool. You're going back to homeschooling. You've snuck a break. Oh, I'm glad you've snuck in a break. Breaks are really important, aren't they? When you're homeschooling. Got a feeling Jacob was on his break anyway, but his break doesn't last as long as my coffee and cards. So he's uh, his middle of the day break, I mean. Is James watching with you, Lucy? Oh, I'm glad you like it. That's really kind. Thank you. Lucy sometimes has her son to watch along, which is really nice to have him too. So we've got four and then we need this one, don't we? So I don't think I'm going to be getting to see Les Mis this year. We've booked the tickets and everything, but hopefully it'll get something. Will, we'll get a refund and we'll be able to book something else um, when the theatre's open. I'm just going to give them a little bend, these flowers. Oh, he's watching and he likes the masking and the colours. Oh, thank you, James. That's very kind of you. Right, glue time. I might, this sounds very daring, actually do some washing, put it out on the washing line. It was very dull, but um, when you, had, you can't do it all winter because it's just cold and wet, it's a lovely thing to be able to do. <laughs> Funny, aren't we? What we like. Oh, it might do. Oh, thanks, Anthony. I'm sure we will, you know. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be great, isn't it? We're all going to be having good times to come. Right. So just layer those little flowers up. Such a handy little punch, this bloom one. On there, and then one more, and then we're nearly done. Cherished friend, a 
couple more of these. I'm nearly at the end of my rhinestones because you've ordered some more. I'm kind of a bit addicted to these things, you may notice. Oh yeah, just there. I like them when they look like they've been thrown on. <laughs> oh, there's, an, there's a stray one. Do you find them stuck to things? I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, inside, inside, <laughs> let's have a look. We have got Cherished Friend. Trust me, you're lovely. I think I'll put that in there. Like that one. Grab the other block. Sorry if I got my whole body in shot. Why is that noise? Don't know if you heard that. It sounded like somebody's dog was whining, but it's not our dog. I think he's definitely asleep somewhere, our pooch. Um, I need the coastal cabal now. What have I done with it? Oh, there it is. It's hiding. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, look at this. Yeah, somebody's dog is whining. I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe somebody else's garden. I can't see all the comments. Let me have a look. Maybe don't. Yeah, somebody's dog is locked out somewhere, which is not very nice. Yeah, I'm not getting all the comments on my laptop. Um, can one of you just remove Abdul? I think he's in the wrong place. Please. Let me see. I think I can. Mm. Yeah, it's not showing me on my laptop all of these. Oh, here we go. That's really getting rid of you. Delete you. Well... I can delete his comment. Spam. So I've reported him as spam, so you can go. Okay, so he won't be able to like, comment, post on, or message your page. Thank you. So we've blocked him. He was a visitor that we didn't really need. Okay, so I'm going to stamp, trust me, you're lovely. I don't think he wanted to be making cards, did he? <laughs> oh, that's so nice, isn't it? Look at that. Trust me, you're lovely. There we go. We had great fun making these cards this morning with the mask. Oh, thanks, Anthony. Oh, look, you all done it, and me. Thanks, you're so helpful, because often I can't, I don't have my laptop on and I don't have access to it. Thank you very much. There we go. So which colour way? Which colour way do you like the best? Do you like the pink colour way or the blues and greens? The greens. Oh, you wanted to read our palm. I think I can see my future at the moment. It's looking brighter. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you're not getting any comments, Fran. That's strange. You like the blues. I'm glad you like the blues. I think I do, but I like them both, actually. So let me know in the comments which one you like the best. And if you like the masks, they're on, what did we say? Page 146 of the annual catalogue. Uh, and they're only £5.50. So grab a three ink pads, some blending brushes and those, and you're away. So they're here. Um, but yeah, so they're in there. You can grab those and they're on my website, inkstampshare.ink. And you can find the stamp to showcase blog hop over there too. Now, I shall be back on Friday with Facebook Friday Live and I can't wait to see you. I hope I see you there. Thank you so much for joining me this morning and helping me celebrate my stamping up birthday and my news of getting onto the UK Demonstrator Council. I'm absolutely stoked. So I'm having a great day and I hope you guys are too. Have a lovely week. Find me on YouTube. If you're watching me on replay, let me know. I would love to know if you watched afterwards. If you're watching me on YouTube, please give me a like and a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm and it helps me no end. 
Thank you guys. Take care of yourselves. Have a lovely day and see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.